Hey guys, it's Traxel here for a new video on Banished. It is an old time city builder. And before I start, special thanks to Corey for the follow. And we'll jump right in. Randomize the uh, the name, or you know what? I think we'll name it Traxel Topia. Bam. We'll have it in the mountains, large, actually no, the valleys are better than mountains. So we'll do that, starting conditions easy, disasters, we'll keep them off because we want our city to thrive. As you can see there's a little sneak peek of what your city could look like. and. Uh, I'll start by showing you what you guys need to do in order to survive your first winter on Banish. Alrighty. First thing you want to do is pause and turn the volume down so very much. I apologize for that. But it is very loud. You know, you just wanted to look for a little ambiance in the background. Okay, boom. So let's go back and resume. It's still very loud. So let's bring that down all the way here. How's that sound? Still loud? Good. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit more just to be safe. So let's put it on a 2. Okay, guys. First thing you want to do is pause, as you can see. Then you want to pull up a couple things that you're going to need. Right here, this is the statistics of your city. It shows your health, your rating, and all of your supplies. Second one you need is the event log. Event log is important because it'll show you whether your view, uh, your players, I guess, your villagers, um, what a uh, job they're doing, if they're making any kids, and yeah, that's very important. And another thing is. If we look at your map size, see where you can get your resources. This is a fairly good map. Start us right off here at the river, which we will be using in future times. The next thing you'll need to open is this professions box. This is where you'll assign your vi villagers to uh, different type of jobs so that your city can thrive. <laughs> Last but not least, I think that is all you need for right there. Yeah, an event log, your professions, which really I, I, I prefer it like this. Alright, so there we have it. Now, as you notice, we have cows. So the first thing we want to do is go in a little food icon. And set up a pasture for the cows. Um, particularly any place is fine. But you want to leave some space on the ocean front for... Or the river front. For your trader and other things. So I'm just going to go ahead right here in the back of this house. And place the pasture right here. So, it is cows, so you're going to need a pretty big pasture. So I'm thinking we'll go 15 by 15. Should be enough for all the cows we have here. Boom. Alright, so now that we have the pasture in, next thing we need to do is place down a woodcutter. And you really want to place the woodcutter next to your stockpile so that you can gather resources from your stockpile into here to distribute the firewood through the town. And next would be, I like setting in the dirt roads. So I usually do a little outline here wrapped all around the town out this way to your woodcutter. You can place one here, split this in half, 
and then split this in half again. You can fit four houses in there. One here, one over here, or however you like it. This is just what I do. Another thing we'll need is in our town supply, um, one of these here, town services, is a well for water. So I will place the well, instead of placing a house here, I'll put the well there. So basically that's all you need to start in the beginning. I lied. Next you'll need a, uh, an orchard. Now you'll start off with two different things. You can have a a bunch of different types of stuff. Wheat and potatoes. But uh we're working with some strange geographical issues because there's a lot of mountains we can't build on this. So maybe we'll just do a little farm over here on the right. To remove roads and such to the last panel down here. We'll take that away and place in a farm. So a decent sized crop field. If you do it too big, it'll take too long to harvest. Just a little warning. So we'll put a path here, over here, and that is it for right now. And another thing we'd want to build the gatherer, the hunters, we're going to need a few of these things. Gatherer's hut gives us roots and berries, which will help us in the medicine field. And we'll need a fishing cabin, too. This is a great source of food. And obviously the yellow mark will show you that in that water, that's how, that's the uh, area for the fish capture thing. Alright, so dirt road to there, and we'll do one more out, and straight up like that, boom. Okay, so now we have that and that, so it says we need 13 builders, we can throw 6 builders on, and get to moving along in our brand new Traxeltopia with all our colorful villagers, which is actually a new update for Banished, they never had colored clothing, I don't think. They were just in their shag brown and all that. But here, it'll tell us we're in early spring. So what we need to do is uh, increase a priority of this here because we need the food going as, as soon as possible. And to increase the priority, you just gotta click on it a bunch of times like this. All they need to do is remove a few trees for your field. And yeah. So while they're doing that, I'll place in a few more roads. Not like it matters. And boom, you see? It is done already. So you click on it. We have potatoes or squashes. I'm going to go with squash here. And then we'll assign two villagers to that. We could crank that down. You always want to have laborers on hand because the laborers will run around, they'll chop down trees, collect all this and bring it into the stockpile. Which is another great time for me to bring up that you will need a second stockpile. Fairly early in the video game. Um, where you want to put it is up to you and I'm going to say over here by the farm would probably be good because I would like to put um, I'm not sure where we're gonna put our uh, we have a what is it it's a trader so he'll come and bring us items that we don't have and then after that we have I think that's it that's what the only thing we need is a trader so I'm debating on putting a stockpile over here, but you kind of don't want to have them too close to each other. I guess we'll put one over on this side of the 
town. So we'll make it as big as possible. They can go and cut all that stuff down. And they are getting the work. As you can see, the reserve of stone is low, but they have it all around here. For this little well over here, I think. We have our woodcutter. It's going to town over there. And here's our storage barn. Tells you how much it's full and what's inside. We have 300 potatoes already. Which makes me want to build another field. Oh, excuse me. So what I'm going to do right next to this cattle farm is probably make a giant crop field, like 10 by 15. But I want to put it one block over so that I can put a path. Boom, 10 by 15 crop field. And um, we can have full capacity on our builders now. So while that's doing that, we can open this up, increase the speed a little bit further, just to hurry up some processes. 10 times speed is the max speed. Really don't like the cattle just hanging out here, but uh, yeah. Right now we're not going to invest into stone houses. It takes up way too much resources. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna place more housing here. And kind of like divide it up to where They're not all walking out the front door at the same time and smacking each other in the face. Okay, as you see, we have children now becoming adults. We can assign our cattle into here. We can make our potatoes over there. And you kind of want to leave the recommended, like I can change it, that would be one of two farmers. But if it says it needs three, then it needs three. So we can take all our builders off, and we should have a full running town, and everybody is set, but what we we're worried about is food here. In time, hopefully, we'll increase the food limit to 550,000, and we'll increase the log limit to 20,000. Well, not that much actually, we'll do two. 2000 because if it turns up all into firewood then we'll have no wood for building and it's just something also to keep in mind which I've run into a few times so now what I'm going to do is start building a path out yonder this way wrap it around here and then start moving this up and around here then we can bring that down and we can start working on furthering our town out this way. As you can see, the reserve of logs is low already. So what we want to do is now click into this tab here and go to remove resources tab. So I like the trees on this side. It, it's, it adds for nice scenery, but um, unfortunately, this all has to get taken down for future... Uh, city planning here and then we'll let them go to town do what they gotta do ah next it's very important a tool maker blacksmith new tools because if your people run out of tools it, it gets very tricky trying to further your progression and not having the right equipment so we'll do that and because that's like that I'll just make it one big path we could probably throw another house right there it's not a bad idea uh, we can't so what we're gonna do is throw it over here we'll later upgrade to stone houses over here it holds the fire like it decreases your firewood status so it doesn't use up 
much logs as these would. Of course we need builders to build our stuff. Reserve of stone is low, of course. So we have enough stone over here. It's just up to the gatherers, the um, laborers to go get it. <coughs> and if I tell them to. So right now what I really want to do is just let them figure everything out right now, get through this winter. Our health is down, so what I'm thinking of next is putting in a hospital, which requires the gatherer's hut. So we'll make one of those, and we're going to need sections of our town that is untouched, because if we have cities inside this yellow circle, um, I don't think they'd be able to gather berries as easy so I'm thinking of a good place to put this. Hmm, that'd be a good place for fishing. Um, we could have this over here as our as our like little reserve. So with all said, I mean we could branch our city down this way. And have our little sanctuary of gatherers out here. But it's kind of far. Um. I think we'll put it over here. And then we'll make a little bridge. Or something. Or if possible. We could set it here. But it is in the city so. Not quite sure. Not quite sure yet. Let's go get the stone, which we can do this and collect all the stone in our area. Boom. What are we building here? We're just building this. And we're waiting on the stone. And we're waiting on the stone. Okay. See, here's the trading post, which is going to be important down the road. We could place it somewhere local. This would be good because there's a storage barn right there. We'll pause this so that they're not building that just yet and throw a road in. Boom, just like that, and then we'll put in another... put in another stockpile right behind it just so that it has a place to put all its goods all right blacksmith is up we'll increase this limit to a hundred drop the builders and assign a blacksmith we'll drop those we got 10 healthy laborers we're pushing children out like it's nothing the housing is pretty full, so we might throw in a couple houses. You kind of want to throw houses in to where it's close for people to get to work. They're complaining about food now. We'll throw in a house over here as well. So we'll have two new houses built so that there is a no lack of space. And what I probably want to do first is to throw in a town hall. And what that will do, this will allow us to take in nomads. And what the nomads will do, they'll increase our population, which will give us more workers to um, help us get more food and all that fun stuff. So... Alrighty, next, we'll just make a road around everything, boom, we got roads here, this road can go there, but first we need to get the stone, 
and the iron and uh, I don't know how to move that stone unless it's like an um immovable object I'm not gonna make a path around the whole thing so that is doing that we should pause this real fast and I forgot to assign the builders there we go Cattle farm's working nice. And we have a lot of animal traffic, but I don't think I want to throw in a... Hunter's Lodge just yet. Right now I want to work on housing. So we'll throw one here. And then... Another house probably there, and then throw a farm in the back of that. Or an orchard, we could put an apple orchard in. So hopefully that will increase our production of food, which we have chestnuts or peaches. I think we'll throw it on peaches. And it also needs another farmer, so... There we go. We can pause some of this. It'll decrease the amount of um, builders because we really don't need houses that bad just yet but I would like for them to do this and we are running low on resources again which is a continuous problem you'll find so usually what I do is I'll find a section of the map like out here and I'll highlight it all, and then eventually they'll get to it. And... I think I'm going to take... This probably would be a good spot for forestry. So let's move out this way and take all this... All these resources that we'll need for upgrading our town. Slowly but surely, we'll get along just fine here. Toolmaker is making the tools. Log and iron. We don't have a coal just yet. And we're still out of materials, so... Eventually, we will um, get up to date with that. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a gassy boy today. That's what happens when you eat um, Sour Patch Kids and Monster for breakfast. So Alejandro in here, he's saying he's he's hungry. So um, it's not good because obviously our farms aren't enough, but our peaches aren't grown yet. And maybe we'll throw another orchard in on this side here. That'd be very, that'd be nice to look at. 12 by 10 here. We can get logs from there and it's a nice little orchard on this lake. Oop, sorry. Okay, cool. So we got new houses in for our fishers. We know that iron is low. Sorry, I can't do anything about it. We have a ton of stone just sitting there, so we might as well get to building this new town hall. Next, what I'll probably do is start mapping out new storage barn. Because our existing one will fill up fairly quickly and having it by the town hall in these farms will be just fine. But right now we're in a food struggle, so they really need to hurry up here. Because people are dro do boom, they're dropping like flies here. Yeah, that's not good. 
everybody's dying. It's because of our food situation, but you'd think two farms and some cattle will be enough. Looks like we don't have anybody work. Like, come on, people. Dropping. They're dropping. This run might be over, guys. Oh no. Maybe it's because I sent them very far out and then they didn't eat. Okay, so let's pause a few things here. What we really need probably is that done first. Wow. Why are they just all dying? They really go through that squash like it's nothing. That's it, guys. We have 16 adults, 7 children. We just had a plague wipe through the starvation plague. Like, look, they leave food out. No wonder why. Hey, we're still going strong. But, uh, we need people. Oh, there's another one. We got 15, and here comes winter. We're done. We're done. But it's not over until the fat lady sings, so. Or something like that, I guess. So, in theory, that's what you want to do to start a, start a new city in Banish. Uh, I failed. Maybe... Maybe bigger farms, closer to the storage barn, or, you know, but for right now, you know, you'll, you'll win some, you'll lose some, but, you know, everyone hasn't died just yet, so. Oh yeah, logs is low because we're, we're just plowing through this limit, so, let's make that a 700 limit of logs, and, um. Keep it at that. Well, I mean, it looks like they're okay on firewood. Let's set it at 500. So now we know. Next time, guys. 650. Let's put a 650. That should be fine. Alright. They really need to just work on this. Work on the food situation. Because if we don't have food, it's not going to be a fun time. Next is going to be a giant potato field for the next summer that is going to be that jeez I hear him taking down trees but See them plowing through over here. It's like they gotta walk so far to do all this. But uh, they're they're complaining about the the level of their stuff being low. So hey, can't get mad at me. But I really want this done. Let's let's hurry this up. All right, let's increase all our limits now that I see here. We can actually set limits to things. We'll just add a zero. Oh wait, nope, that stays there. Zero, zero. More clothes, herbs, tools. Alright. We don't want the tools to go too crazy though. Alright. Boom, we can make our chestnut farm there. Take these guys away, put farmers on, and now we need laborers. <clears throat> but you know what guys, I think this is a great spot to stop this stream. And if you guys would like to see more Banished, let me know in the comments, and we'll make this a series. Again, thanks for watching the video.
Hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.